so we are seeing that in general these metals NaCa, Mg, Al are forming basic oxides and non metals like carbon and sulfur are forming acidic oxides so we can say that basic oxides are formed by metals or rather we can say metals form basic oxides while non-metals form acidic oxides so that is another way of distinguishing metals and non-metals they'll form basic oxides and these will form acidic oxides there is a very interesting thing that Al2O3 and ZnO now we have learnt that acidic oxides on reaction with bases will give salt and water and basic oxides on reaction with acids will give salt and water so all these oxides on reaction with bases uh, or, or all the Al2O3 and ZnO on reaction with acids should give salt and water so do they give let us see yes they very well give AlCl3 is a salt H2O is water so this will be 6 this is 3 this is 3 yeah so they give this salt and water so they are basic oxides but don't jump to this conclusion we have another reaction of Al2O3 in which it reacts with NaOH to give NaAlO2 plus H2O this is 2 2 4 and oh wait balanced or is it balanced Al2 Al2 O3 plus 2 5 4 plus 1 5 H2 Na2 okay it's balanced and this compound is known as sodium aluminate And this is a salt. So you see that Al2O3 on reaction with NaOH gives a salt and water. What on NaOH gives salt and water? An acidic oxide. So is Al2O3 an acidic oxide? No, we have just seen it is a basic oxide. Now I am giving a reaction which proves that it is an acidic oxide. So, what is it actually? Now, these type of oxides which react with both acids and bases to give salt and water these type of ox oxides are known as amphoteric oxide
So, Al2O3 reacts with acid to give salt and water. It reacts with base to give salt and water. So, Al2O3 is an amphoteric oxide. They might ask you, what is an amphoteric oxide? And when they ask you this question, don't forget to give the example of aluminium along with its equations. Wherever they ask you such questions, where even a hint of equation is required, if, if even if equ an equation is not required, you try to find out an equation and write that equation. Because equations always fetch you more marks. Now similarly, zinc is also an amphoteric oxide. Let us see the reaction of zinc. Oh, we know its reaction with acid. It will give ZnCl2 and H2. Let us see its reaction with the base. It will give Hmm, balanced. And this is sodium zincate. So, this also reacts with HCl to give salt and water. It also reacts with NaOH to give salt and water. So, zinc is also your amphoteric oxide. You can give an example of zinc also if you are asked uh, to write what are amphoteric oxides. Or you might be asked that X reacts with acids and it reacts with bases both to give salt and water. What can you say about X? So then you can say that it is an amphoteric oxide. Next is, how do metals react with water? Now, if you have sodium, if it just gets moisture from the air, you don't even need to put water on it, it will immediately react with the water to produce NaOH and H2. And with this, it will produce a lot of heat. It is an extremely exothermic reaction of sodium and water and it will produce a lot of heat. It will produce so much heat that this hydrogen will actually explode. The hydrogen starts burning. So, balance is this. And similarly, with potassium also, the reaction is so vigorous that it just reacts with the moisture in the air it even reacts with ice to give an immense amount of heat and this heat sets this hydrogen on fire. So it's a very dangerous reaction and that is why sodium and potassium are never kept in open because they immediately react with oxygen, water, anything it is present in the air and they form, they just explode, they just burn away. 